Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. I have a Sephora haul for you today. I've got two boxes that you just saw me open. I've had these items that are in these boxes in my cart for a little bit. And then my friend Shelby Wilson, you guys probably know her here on YouTube, posted an Instagram reel about a Sephora haul. And I was like, uh-oh, it's time to hit checkout because some of these products are new and I just get nervous. And then I start seeing the things sell out that are in my cart and I'm like, well, I don't need any of it then, fine. So let's see what's in box number one. <laughs> what a fun Sephora haul. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury. Now I don't have any powder highlight on right now just because I knew this was coming and I wanted to use it. Uh, I want first impressions. Oh, it has squalene in it. Wow. I bought the shade Champagne Glow. My favorite types of highlights are more golden or champagne. Pinky or icy tends to make me look ashy. I'm very yellow undertoned. Classic packaging. Classic Charlotte Tilbury compact with some stars and stuff. Feels a little lightweight to be honest. Did you see that? Sh no. Okay, I did. I saw the actual product shift. Look, I can move this with my finger. <gasps> How did this not break? Is this supposed to happen? Is this supposed to happen? The whole product is moving. And you can... It's loose. Oh, y'all are gonna have to let me know. If I find out that this is not supposed to like literally, you can literally move the product. Girl, she's going back today. And I'm gonna use this with a refer 19. Listen, look, the whole thing is literally, maybe it's supposed to rotate with your brush. I'm gonna have to find out. I honestly, I don't know. So this is supposed to be like glowy, like, ooh, that's, Oh, that's really, that's really good. That's really pretty. I don't like it rotating every time I dip my brush in it though. That feels a little unstable, but look at that. Oh, that's really natural and nice. And I think that I picked the right shade for my skin tone again, which is Champagne Glow. And I'll have everything that we're hauling today listed in the info. I do not, this is not, unless that's like, supposed to move like a freaking turntable. I don't like that. It feels cheap. Don't like it unless it's like really secure in there and it's supposed to be doing it. But the highlight itself is, <sighs> maybe that's why it was like in this like special lifted carton. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the box and like literally look this up right before I leave. And if that's not supposed to be moving like that, she is going back. Okay, update, update, update. <laughs> I went to Sephora to return the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. So pretty. And I got there and it's supposed to spin. It's supposed to spin for like easy application or whatever. So I kept it. This is my original one. They had every shade in, st in stock, which is really crazy for that Sephora. Like everything is out of stock all the time. It's supposed to spin for like ease of use of application, but listen to it. Doesn't that make you nervous? I'm just like, how is this packaging not gonna fail people? And I got there and I was like, oh, my god i guess i must have missed that in the her instagram posts or whatever um where she was talking about it i haven't watched reviews on them you guys know how i feel about watching other people's reviews before i try products especially like something so hot like this it is nice it does kind of blur pores and that kind of thing it doesn't enhance any pores or anything like that and it hit me and i just dug my nail in it great and it hit me, that's kind of like the formulation of the M Cosmetics highlighters. It's the way it blurs pores because you can apply this kind of directly under the eyes like that and it's not gonna, in, it doesn't enhance any wrinkles or crinkles. It's late, I'm tired. I just got back from Little Rock. She's supposed to spin and I really, really like this highlighter. It freaks me out, let me know what you think about the packaging. Okay, back to the video. Blend with my big Ruffer 22. Blend your powder products, guys, on your face. It makes a world of difference. It's everything cohesive so you don't just have strips of highlight and bronzer. The Refi Cream Blush. This is in the shade Citrine. I'm very partial to like orange bronzy blushes. My little arthritic fingers can't do this. So we're gonna use our eyelash tweezers here. Now I've heard plenty of people rave about these blushes. I actually almost bought them at Sephora while I was in Little Rock and then I just kind of backed out. Very small packaging. Look how pretty that is. 
Ooh, that's a really nice, like a deep burnt peach citrine. Oh yeah, that's nice and orange. It kind of reminds me of the M Cosmetics. I can grab that and compare it. Oh my God, actually it might be an actual dupe for citrine. It's called Passion. Very, very similar. Whoa, like almost the same shade. So this is Passion and this is Citrine. Citrine's a little bit peachier. It has more red in there. Passion is straight up orange and it is a statement blush. I think Citrine could be pulled off a little more uh, every day. And the So Soft blushes are a more satin finish. Refi blush and Citrine is a little bit glowy, but they are very, very similar. Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in Talented. And I've seen a few people wear it and it's really pretty. Here's Talented. And I have on the Buxom Power Lines Lip Liner in the shade Smooth Spice. Very close. Wow, okay, so I think that I just basically ordered things that I already knew that I liked subconsciously. You guys convinced me of to try. It is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. Reverse hair damage in four minutes. This has been raved and raved about forever. I got the small size because the full size is $75. And I really wanted to try this for a good price point of $29 and see how it fares my beloved Olaplex, which I have a video coming up soon because I feel like some facts need to get straightened out here. A lot of people have been using the hair mask, the number three with heat, they'll apply it, leave it in and use heat or they're using it too often and their hair is breaking off. So people aren't following instructions and thinking that Olaplex is just bad and it's not. I have a whole researched video coming up about that, but that's beside the point. K18 ha promises a lot and a lot of people love it. So I had to try it. Last thing in this box is the new travel size because I don't want to spend that full $130. This is the new replica on a date. I don't know if you guys remember when they released lipstick on that fragrance was so beautiful and then they discontinued it and I don't know why lipstick on smelled so good. It smelled like you were just a woman kind of like putting their lipstick on. I love how replica literally replicates times in life basically and it smells like exactly what it's labeled as. Okay. Oh, this is really good. It's a little spicier. If I remember lipstick on correctly, it was powdery, it was feminine, but it had like a really nice kind of musk to it. I feel like this is a spicier version of lipstick on. It smells like if you took Lazy Sunday and lipstick on, mix them together, whoa, you would have on a date and a lot of fruits coming through, like almost like grapefruit. What are the notes on this? Oh, grapes. <sighs> I didn't even read the notes. I just got it because I know that Replica's new scents sell out. Grapes and roses. Yeah, this smells like I'm drinking my favorite champagne and eating grapes on a charcuterie board. Crap. Hourglass launched new lipsticks and you know your girl had to nab them. So that means I need to wipe my lipstick off. Lipstick off. Face off. Uh, Nicolas Cage is in a new Western and I feel like obviously Nicolas Cage is like silly silly goose guy, I feel. If you wanna keep yourself entertained and just like know that movies are just outrageous and bad, a full like movie night of Nicolas Cage movies is real fun. So I kinda of wanna watch that Western, but I also don't wanna spend the $20 because it's <laughs> on Amazon, but it's in the theater. I can't remember the last time a Nicolas Cage movie was in the theater, but I will say this, Pig is really good. This is the new Hourglass Unlocked Satin Cream Lipstick. I bought the shades Dove and Alpine. Okay, packaging. I feel like Hourglass stays true to the brand. I love their packaging. It's always heavy. Ooh, that's really nice. There's a magnet. Okay, it's shaped like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So you can get some well-defined lips without a lip liner. Ooh, oh. Okay, this is surprising me. What shade is this? Dove. Okay, this is a surprising shade. This is very bright and peachy. I thought this would be a little more nude, but I like it. I feel like this with the Citrine blush would be a really good duo. It's very, very creamy. It almost feels like Max Cream Sheen lipsticks. All right, let's try Alpine. This one, to me online, looked a lot like a cool undertoned beige and doesn't look like that in person. It looks like a very brown taupe. 
Oh, already a favorite. This is way less, it's more warm than it looks like online. They all looked like pretty unique shades too. That's nice. This is a shade that I would definitely lean more towards. Dove is a little bright, but I know that I will get a lot of use out of it if I want some color on my lips. Formula feels amazing. The packaging feels high-end. This feels like a high-end lipstick on the lips. Also, Hourglass has updated their packaging to the cruelty-free Hourglass packaging. I think it's super cute. This is really great packaging. Power 28's multi-liner. They just launched these, the one-liners. This is in the shade Work of Art. I saw that they launched them and I was like, oop, immediately put them on my favorite list on Sephora, but then they posted freaking Hailey Bieber wearing this shade and I was like, well, that's it. Hailey Bieber loves it. I'll probably love it. <laughs> So this again is the shade Work of Art. So you can use these, it's a multi-liner. The only one you need, it's safe for eyes, lips, and face. Long lasting color that won't ghost. I'm excited, we're gonna wear this today. That's cool, I bet you could do like a, like a blush moment. Makeup Forever has their artist liners that you can use on the eyes, lips, and the face as well. Oh, this is a nice lip contour shade. I feel like usually, Pencil liners that look like a pencil are a little bit drying. This is very smooth. Okay, this shade reminds me of when Hourglass had their lip liners, the shade Eden. I wore that constantly as a lipstick. This is what this reminds me of and it's discontinued. Oh wow, this is really soft. The formula reminds me of the M Cosmetics Velvet Lip Blurs. So I could see where this could blend out as a blush. Oh, highly impressed. This is a lip liner that you would throw in your bag and keep in your bag and like use it down to the nub. Let me know what's been on your list. And you know, maybe this video will inspire you to go ahead and try the new things that have launched. I'll have everything I mentioned and everything that I'm wearing in the info box below. So if you're curious, it's always right down there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. The on, the, on a date, I smell like I'm on a date. It's good. This is really good. Oh, wow, okay.